Hi everyone. Today I'm going to take you through the case study of Safola. This case study analyzes the positioning journey traversed by Safola, which is one of India's leading cooking oil. For nearly half a century, Safola was strongly associated with the health of the human heart, with its visual language, communication strategy, and brand positioning all revolving around heart related risks before moving to this case study i would request you to subscribe five minutes learning channel in youtube in order to receive my recent case study video updates on time also this video is enabled with english subtitles for your better understanding now let's move to the case study In the year March 2004, the marketing team responsible for the Safolo brand at Marico Limited was examining a proposed advertising campaign to reposition the brand in the minds of the consumers. Safolo was the flagship brand in the edible oils category for Marico with strong health association and commanded a premium in the competitive Indian market where oil was being used extensively in food preparation. Growth had been studied for over a decade leading up to the turn of the century. Faced with stagnation of sales in the year 2001, Safola had launched an advertising campaign rooted in a comprehensive reposition strategy. However, the impact of the campaign was short-lived with sales setting down at pre-campaign level soon after. The team faced the task of evaluating a new campaign while keeping in mind the lessons learned from the previous campaign which was done in the year 2001. A significant change which happened during this time was the increase in the intensity of competition. Since the primary market had been increasing, because of heightened level of health consciousness, existing competitors such as Sundrop increased their advertising expenditures and new competitors also entered the market. Gold winner at a low price point was proving to be a strong competitor in South India. Owing to growing health consciousness, it was likely that consumers were upgrading from heavier oil to lighter and healthier oils. However, the expectation that consumers would switch over from the competitors to a Safolo offering or upgrade within the Safolo product line had not materialized as what they thought. Preliminary research suggested that the heart association was so strong that in some households, Safolo was used to cook only for the family member suffering from heart conditions while all the other member would use a different, more generic oil. This could be happening because of three major reasons. First, owing to the price premium that Safola charged, this might have been done to avoid additional expenditure. Second reason would be, Safola was known for its therapeutic properties and not for its taste. Hence, non-patients could be disinclined to compromise on taste on a regular basis. The third reason would be mothers could consciously avoid using Safola for the healthy family members, especially children, if they perceived it to be of medicinal nature and hence potentially harmful to a normal, healthy person. Cooking oils were broadly divided into two categories. First one, the heavy, sticky and the fattening one whereas the second one would be the light, refined and a healthier one. In the second category, the competing brand Sundrop was the clear market leader across the country, with Safolo being the close second one. Tracing the brand conversion pathway, users of the heavy oil who are seeking an upgrade were most likely to change to the Sundrop, except in instances where their doctor had specifically recommended Safola. The key highlight of the study were as follows. Safolo had high brand recall with customers, probably just below Sundrop. It was perceived as a light, refined and healthy cooking oil. 
It was also clearly observed that Safola was viewed as a problem solution brand. Customers had opted for Safola owing to their doctor's recommendation or a health or weight problem and were therefore forced to spend more than they would have preferred. In effect, Safola's image in the market was that of an expensive problem solution brand that did not taste smell good but was light, low fat and good for the heart. Customer viewed it as a specialist brand that was medicinal in nature and not meant for all. This image was in direct contrast to Safolo's main competitor, Sunrop, which was perceived by the customer as a good quality, light oil, tasty and healthy oil, which suits everyone. Hence, Sunrop emerged as a destination brand for consumers who are wishing to upgrade an inflection point at which price and performance were perfectly balanced in Sundrop. Whereas Gold Winner, which was supported by heavy regional advertising and a lower price, was also viewed as an attractive option for consumers who are wishing to change over from a heavier oil. Safola Tasty had low advertising recall and seemed to be overshadowed by original Safola oil. With these feedback and insights from the consumer survey that they have made, Marico mandated an advertising agency with a directive to reposition the brand so as to secure more consumers into Safola's fold. The objective was to reposition such that the franchisee would be broadened without losing the price premium that the brand commanded. The agency decided to evaluate the pros and cons of Safola's current brand image and consider whether to leverage its existing strength or reposition the brand altogether. Brand Safola was studied using Capfer's Brand Prism framework in this framework, a brand is evaluated on six dimensions, of which three internal dimensions, which include physique, personality, and culture, and the other three external dimensions, which include customer's self-image, relationship, and customer reflection. Through this model, the team was exposed to a clear articulation of what Safola stood for, including the positive as well as negative attributes, the team felt that some dimensions were well aligned with some of Safola's long-term goals, while some others were detached from how Safola wanted to position itself. The brand audit also revealed that Safola had done well with reflecting its customer, as well as with understanding the nuances of the customer's projected self-image. Physical facets such as the heart imagery and strong brand name benefited Sapola. However, on most aspirational and emotional counts, Sapola drew a blank. The brand's personality was viewed as detached and authoritative, akin to customers' likely referral source, that is, their doctor. The brand relationship was that of a savior and a solution provider, thereby lacking direct emotional involvement with the customer. Safola had built a culture of fear around itself and this was in direct contrast with the general upbeat mood of the country owing to a buoyant economy and overall optimistic outlook. In its new avatar, Safola positioned itself as the choice for healthy living. This was translated into an advertisement campaign titled Sehat Se Gina Hay. The 30 second spot resulted in a drastic shift from the negative imagery that Safola had employed in the past. The commercial was a video montage of happy, healthy people of various age groups, ranging from children to senior citizens, engaging in various forms of physical activity and affirming that they would take responsibility to live healthy and there would be no compromise on this. The marketing and creative agency team 
were initially satisfied with the creative output as it aligned well with their strategic goals. The initial response of the campaign was encouraging. Safola experienced about 15% growth while the campaign was underway. However, the optimism turned out to be temporary once the campaign ended. Sales started to dip again and eventually settled at the pre-campaign level. Further, a closer analysis of the sales figure revealed that the growth that the growth had largely come from within the existing user base, people who were experimenting with the new variant, that is Safola NutriBlend. After much deliberation, the team decided that the solution lay in the way Safola segmented the market. Demographically speaking, Safola had gained strong market share and has become the brand of choice in its existing market segment, which majorly consists of 45 plus years heart patients. It had been mostly addressing people who had experienced a heart condition, whether it was in the retrospect or the prospect. This led the group to be perhaps cautious in its approach to life, living with the fear at the forefront. As a brand, Safola had managed to establish the cognitive meaning of the brand right as the best heart care oil available within this group. However, it was the brand's associative meaning such as heart attacks, cardiograms, hospitals, cholesterol and so on that limited it from fetching an appeal beyond this segment. Hence, while it had this segment in its pocket, it was a complete blind spot for a possible non-heart related segment. So Safola decided to broaden its appeal to include a whole new demographic segment into its ambit. This consists of an age group of 25 to 45 years living in metros. Within this demographic segment, the attention had to be focused on a busy executives with packed lives and busy schedules accompanied with a general positive outlook to life. Individuals belonging to this group had basic health consciousness symbolized by occasional physical activity and healthy food habits. So Safola decided to include the hopefully healthy lifestyle segment into its ambit. Safola recognized that to this group, the idea of healthy living was holistic and a healthy heart was just the starting point. Hence, in order to combine its own core strength with the pulse of the target group, the agency arrived at positioning Safola as the first step to a healthy heart. This positioning implied that while the user's attempt at turning healthy would continue Safola was the easy and reliable way to start taking special care of the heart and thereby their health. Through this approach, the aim was also to draw the user's attention to the crucial role played by the heart in maintaining general health. The agency also felt that in order to add credibility to the new positioning, it would be helpful to launch the brand under a new avatar or a new sub brand, thereby making it easier for the new demographic segment to add the relevant associative meanings with the brand. As a result, the sub-brand Safola Gold was born, which combined the positive product-related expertise of the parent brand Safola with the promise of intangible emotional benefit meant for a new generation of consumers. At the same time, Safola NutriBlend, which was introduced in the year 2001, was discontinued, whereas other variants such as Safola and Safola Tasty continued to serve its loyal customer base of 45 plus years heart patients. Thank you everyone for watching this video. See you soon with another interesting case study. Please subscribe to 5 Minutes Learning channel in YouTube to view more such case study videos.